Okay, hey there. This is your week four lesson one overview, and this is our discussion portion. So like it's been in the past, for any lesson one or part one of any of our uh, weekly assignments, that will be the discussion question, which is what is what will be graded on. So I'm trying to make it a little bit more streamlined, and we'll talk about that in just a moment. But all the videos that I have will be on the support uh, page on the module, as well as so instead of having a whole list of you know videos that I have and slideshows, we're, uh, I'm going to try to have you know only one or two slideshows in each page, and then all the supporting videos will be on the support page. So let's look at the overview. You're going to look at the literature slides. You're going to read or listen to the poems. And again, listen will be on the other page. View the vocab slides and then participate in the discussion. Participation in the discussion and completing that is your graded assignment for lesson one. Slideshows. Spoiler alert, we're going to look at poetry. Read the poems below. Everything is right here. And when you see that, I have it uh, broken down, so you can just keep on sliding, uh, you know, going, scrolling down. We have five poems this week. If you notice, there's these numbers on the left. Those are the uh, line number counts. So it's one, two, three, four, then five. So if you need to look for number seven, just go where five is. The next one below that, six, and then seven. And those are our poems. Again, if you need to watch it, for some breakdown and, annot and uh, annotations that will be on the support page. Slideshow for vocab, same as every other week. We're going to have four new terms, and that will be possibly on the quiz for week four. And then the big one for lesson one, the discussion that we've had always. You're going to participate in the discussion by answering both of the following questions and reply to at least one other person's post. Make sure to have a full response, which is a paragraph for each question, and use proper MLA formatting. So question number one, why does the connotation of a word matter when we have the denotation? Give specific examples from one of the poems to prove your point. So again, look at MLA formatting of how to do a poem. It's a little bit different. We'll have the slideshows and uh, help there in the support page. And connotation and denotation, we will break that down. We did connotation and denotation last week just for regular literature, but for poetry, it's very similar but slightly different. And then your second paragraph response will be given an example of an image, which is one of the five senses from one of the poems, and uh, choose one of those that you think shows the tone of the poem. And explain why it uh, sticks out to you, and that's your reasoning. Make sure that you also have citations as well. I say provide a response to at least two people, one please, and we'll go from there. That is part one. If you have any questions, please meet me in the discussion board during our office hours. I will have Google Meets, and we will go from there. That's lesson one. Good luck.